Hey guys, welcome to Be Inside Out TV, where living from the inside to create a life you love is the norm. Today's episode deals with the sometimes controversial subject of self-promotion. Now in the world that we live in, image seems to be everything, right? People are front and center, whether it's on TV, in print, online, on camera, and oftentimes they get a backlash for their displays of confidence. To us, the onlookers, as we filter stuff through our own values and belief systems, we may think to be in the spotlight is slightly a desperate attempt to seeking attention, like it's a stunt, right? Yeah, in cases, oftentimes that is true, but what if that's not always true? What if that's not always the case? What if someone simply has a cause that needs visibility? What if you're a business owner or someone who must get their message out in front of the masses to gain the trust of a larger community? You'll definitely need to be in the limelight of your potential audience if that's the case, right? Now, if that makes you feel a little funny, it makes you uncomfortable, it keeps you reserved, well, I have good news. This message is just for you. It will answer the question of how to toot your horn and how to self-promote without coming across as arrogant or a jerk face. So let's get started. Step one is to set an intention before doing anything. Now, I don't know if you know this, but intentions, they direct your actions. What you mean to accomplish when you put your ideas or your face out into the world is what will shine through in your messaging and also with how you communicate with people. Now, to clarify your intention so that it's pure, you want to ask the question, who am I in front of and what do I want to accomplish with this message? Now, the answer to both of those questions will make your intentions clear. For example, before recording this video, I asked, who is this message for and what do I want to accomplish with it? And the answer was simple. I want to help people who are shy about self-promotion to feel like it's okay to do so. Hey, is it working? <laughs> At any rate, am I visible by doing this? Yes. Am I directly self-promoting my business and services? No, not quite, not at this time. But as time goes on, and the more I interest you, and the more you'll see and start to notice where my products and services may be of help in the future, who knows, maybe we'll work together. But right now, my focus is on helping you. Now, on to step number two. Check in and reaffirm with your core, core values. You know this, your gut is very strong. It's a very strong indicator of your personal truth. What feels good to you may not feel good for someone else and vice versa. Some people who come across in their self-promotion may feel it seem, seem a little vain and they may be perfectly okay with doing it like that because that may actually line up with their personal values. But if you're still watching this video, that's probably not how you roll. <laughs> so for you, you always want to connect with your deeper why to give you that extra push to move you through your discomfort of putting yourself out there. Actually, you know what? Being vulnerable helps those who are supposed to get your message actually trust and feel more comfortable with you. Knowing this at your core will give you that confidence to move through publicity gracefully. Step number three is to feel gratitude for all feedback. Now this is a big one, so you'll want to tweet this. Whether someone is praising or pooping on you, your reputation depends on your response. When someone sings your praises, remember to say thank you. That's obvious, right? Let them know you appreciate them. Accept it graciously. But on the other hand, if someone gives you some negative feedback, they talk about you and they seem like haters, or if they even give you constructive criticism, do the same. Again, accept it graciously. You may feel like you have to get up there and defend yourself, and that can come across as very ego-driven. Instead, thank them for sharing and appreciate their feedback. Acknowledge them, then ask yourself, what can I learn from this? If nothing else, you may only learn how to not let people's negative reactions blow you off your rocker. Responding this way definitely helps you not look douchey if that's one of your concerns. <laughs> now it's your turn. What steps can you take to make sure your self-promotion is pure and not putrid? We wanna hear from you, so head on over to BeInsideOut.com and get busy, get in on the action in the comment section. And while you're there, be sure to sign up for email updates to stay in the know. Be notified first 
when new Be Inside Out goodies come from the heavens. Furthermore, if you like this video, be more awesome and share the love with all your friends across your various social networks. As always, remember to nurture your soul first so you can be a beacon and a blessing to everyone who needs you. See you next Wednesday. Be you and be well. Need to love yourself a little more and lose a few extra pounds? Find all the details for the next weight management class at BeInsideOut.com forward slash info.